Welcome to PlayPianoToday.com. This is the second chapter of a piano lesson series titled Power Fingers, developing power, speed, and hand and finger independence on the piano and the keyboard. One of the biggest hurdles that piano players have got to jump over is getting their hands and their fingers to play independently of one another. Meaning this, when you start out playing, your hands kind of start doing exactly the same thing, and that's a good way to start. But you've got to get to the place where your hands are playing different and complementary things. But how do you get from here to there? In this series of lessons, I'm going to show you many different exercises that will disengage your hands and your fingers from one another so that they're playing something completely different but complementary. Let's dig in and we're going to start very, very simple. But hang on because we're going to get to the point where you're playing many different polyrhythmic things. This is so much fun. Lots to dig into. One of the simplest exercises to begin is starting with a simple chord in both hands. This is E minor, E, G, and B. We're playing exactly the same thing in both hands. Now whether you've played for years or you're just beginning, you can do what I'm about to do here. I want you to play this eight times, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously that's very simple, right? Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna hold the E minor chord in the left hand while the right hand plays it eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just barely more complex, but it's... Since this is just a quick video overview of the full lesson, let's jump ahead now to the next section. Now let's reverse it. The left hand is going to play it eight times. The right hand's going to hold it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And your brain might be starting to rebel at this point because it sees what's coming. You can probably guess where we're going. We're going to do all kinds of really interesting things back and forth to get these hands independent. I'm hoping that you'll go to your keyboard and you'll try this stuff as we're digging in. But let's do that back and forth. So the right hand's going to play eight times while the left hand holds, and then vice versa. Right in a row. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Kind of interesting. So go back and practice that. When you're ready for the next step, here it is. And now we're going to take it to the next level. Your right hand is going to continue doing exactly the same thing, but now the left hand is going to play twice as fast, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you get that? So the left hand is hitting twice as fast. Let me do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's swap hands. You can see what's coming here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my right hand is hitting twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is getting increasingly complex, but we're going to dig into the point where your hands really don't have to think about it. So now let's go back and forth. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the tricky part, going back and forth. Now this is one of those concepts that's really easy to explain, but it sometimes can be hard to do in your hands. So one of the real simple things you can do at home is go really slow. I'm going at an average, maybe a little faster pace so that you can get the information quickly. But you can play it this fast. Right? And swap it. There's no harm there. And then move it up in tempo. Because we're actually going to go another step further. But you know what? Practice what you know until you get it real comfortable. So now the next logical step is to double the speed in the slow hand again, like this. Do you see my slower hand is now hitting once for every two hits in the faster hand. Now I'm going to swap it. Here we go.
Here's a tip. One of the hardest things to do about this, but you've got to get there eventually, is to swap your hands back and forth quickly like this. You see, my hands are taking... Okay, we're moving to get your hands and your fingers independent and complementary of one another. So now we're going to do a very similar exercise, but now I'm going to teach you how to do that moving through different progressions. Now let's get out of the world of hand independence just for a second and talk about some simple chords. In this exercise, we're going to use E minor in both hands, E, G, and B. We're going to use C major, C, E, and G. And we're going to use one other chord, B major, B, D sharp, and F sharp. Okay, so now I want you to practice these three chords, E minor, C major, and B major. Now, if you get into this exercise and you can't do it because you don't know the chords, don't blame me, because you can pause the video, okay? So E minor, C major, and B major. Now, I'm going to show you something simple, and then we're going to move into something, actually, it's rather beautiful. Let's play those three chords now. We're going to jump further ahead in the lesson now to the point where we've gone through and studied many different chord progressions and brought this exercise up to speed. Playing really interesting chord progressions and different rhythms in both hands. It's a really good way to start getting your hands independent from one another. Everything we've played so far has been based on chords. A chord is simply two or more notes played at the same time. Now we're going to start looking at finger independence. So you've got these ten babies here and you really want to get them independent from one another. So it's like you have a whole, a whole gaggle of musicians to bring out fantastic music out of the keyboard. How do you do that? Well, the best way, in this case, is to have a plan of action to get from here to there. And we've been studying really methodically, and we're going to keep doing that as we're increasing your skills and mine. So we're going to continue in the vein of using these three chords, E minor, C major, and B major. But now we're going to do a few different things with them. We're going to get to finger independence in just a minute, but I want to talk to you about uh, something we can do different with the chords because you know what I like to do is also sneak some musical things in while we're doing all these exercises. Sneak some interesting things in that hopefully will spark your creativity and um, inspire you to do some fun things of your own because after all that's the point, right? We're going to start with the E minor chord and we're going to take the top note and move it up like this. Interesting, isn't it? Because that creates a little melody that your ear hears. And then we're going to go to the C major chord again and do what we just. At this point, we're about halfway through the lesson. The full lesson is 45 minutes of intense exercises to get your hands independent of one another, powerful and up to speed. In the second half of this full lesson, we spend time developing finger independence, going through many different chord progressions and exercises to get those 10 fingers independent and powerful. In addition, the lesson digs into exercises to develop your creativity so that you're not just doing mindless exercises, but you're actually being musical, creating melodies as you learn to develop hand and finger independence. Powerful stuff. Dig into the full lesson. You can find it at playpianotoday.com forward slash pf like power fingers and the number two my name is david sprunger thanks for hanging out and checking out this overview of power fingers chapter two now you know what to do go practice